Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back to more to Sky 3, Absence of Detention. In the last episode, we stormed the senior classrooms, and in this episode, we are gonna storm the senior classrooms. Oh hey, the uh, NPCs have something new to say. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> it's a paradox. You're not supposed to get it. <laughs> Scribbling the most evil of actions. Jeffrey was in the heart passing around bribes. That's Jeffrey for you. He's super sneaky and suspicious. <laughs> Excitement, Mal Alma says. Ooh la la. <laughs> okay, enough about that. We are not going to get into weird Japanese stuff. <laughs> Instead, we are going to go do the thing. <clears throat> Vile voodoo doll. Let's go, six five. <coughs> yeah. Six five. I mean, I know I'm not getting sick, it's just allergies. It's just kind of annoying when it happens, you know? Oh, hey, we're going right into the thing. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we have a new geo effect here the bye bye panel. Any unit that ends their turn on such a panel will instantly die. Actually, I think they will instantly explode, like a printy, so, uh... If you have a dude with a lot of HP that you want to dispatch out there, be my guest. As for me, I am going to let Commander Video do all the work here. I'm gonna start by sending him down this way. So, I had thoughts of changing uh, Commander Video's name, but... Yeah, see, there's your uh, explosion effect. But uh, I would, at the time of this recording, I am still in the middle of, you know, well, obviously I'm still in the middle of recording chapters 6 through 8, so uh, it'll be really weird if his name changes back to Commander Video for a post-game. Alright, you do not want to smash these panels. Instead, you just want to take them off their locker like that. I am mixing up my metaphors like it ain't no thing proverbially. <laughs> I am the best Rao Cow. Alright, so we are doing the base panel trick to uh, get our dudes onto their dudes. Are the Skella Dragons new? I honestly don't know. Um, a dragon that was revived by a curse. It's po fossil body, but poor. Hard to penetrate. Magic changed to axe. Immortal body. 50% less damage from physical attacks. And they have high attack and defense. They have smelly breath, sucker bite, and crusher bones for their magic change. Okay. I don't really see much attention to pay attention to them. I mean, it's kind of a... I, when you have a guy this powerful, it doesn't really matter whether your attacks are physical or magical. I would recommend bringing Barrel along for this uh, fight, yeah. though. Just because she is so great with uh, fire-type attacks. Having Sapphire around wouldn't hurt either. I think she can do Ice as well as her uh, healing magic, which is mainly what I've been using her for. And of course, if you have a skull or a mage, that is also a thing as well. Let's do that to get this guy out of the way. And that is what we have done here. There's a story segment, so I'm just going to shut up unless there's commentary. 
What's that? Some kind of writing. Oh no, it is the teddy bear of doom! Let's see. Please take freely. It's a trap! It's obviously a trap. It can only ever be a trap. Nobody gives teddy bears away for free. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Do you think they mean that cutesy doll? Princess, don't you think it's a little strange for a doll to be just sitting there? It has to be a trap. Almaz, the genre savvy member of the team, in this particular instance. Sapphire, you are dumb. Stupid, stupid, dumb. <laughs> You're already touching it? Be careful! Boom! That's no doll! Five Nights at Freddy's! Ah! It's going to kill her! Watch out, princess! <laughs> it stabbed her. <laughs> it stabbed him, I mean. Almaz is not a girl. That is ridiculous. Almaz! Almaz! Don't die! Almaz! Are you dead? Yup! Oh, to take away our hero. How cruel the gods can be. Because obviously he hasn't acted in like 10 seconds and therefore he must be dead. That is how this game works. I've never seen that before. Was that the ultimate skill of the 48 expressions of affection? Self-sacrifice? You know, it's like a move or die sort of thing. Has anybody ever played that game? Because I haven't. It is a thing. Thank you, Hero Almaz! We will never forget about you! You will live on forever in our hearts! Is that a fact? Rest in peace. We've lost an amusing man. <laughs> Well, that's apparently his opinion of the hero. I don't know about you, that seems kind of like a thing. Shut up, Honor Quotient. Um, I'm not dead. Oh, okay. Almas, are you alright? Where are you hurt? Let me take a look. Take a look at the stab wound, princess. That's where he got hurt. I'm fine. It was nothing, really. But you look kind of pale. Oh no. I had a virus! It was just a prick from a needle, I think. Don't worry, there's nothing wrong. He's going to enact medical drama. Sudden genre change for the win. More importantly, Princess, are you hurt at all? Thanks to you, I'm perfectly fine. <sighs> I'm glad you're safe. Please take better care of yourself. Indeed. It was a careless act on my part, but it was so cutesy. I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how you assassinate a princess. You put something cute in their room. <laughs> no, no, it's okay as long as I'm around. A hero must act with courage to protect that which is precious. I'm always prepared to die for you, Princess! Aww, she's precious to him. That is so sweet. But please try not to be so reckless. If you really can't help it, try to only do it while I'm around. <laughs> Alright, I understand. But I won't forgive you if you die! At that point, I think it's a little late for forgiveness. Just saying. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not like I want to die. Alright, that was a thing. Pretty short episode, but you know. Alright, I am going to close out the uh, recording, and I will see you all next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.